All right, so I'm gonna open up Photoshop here. And what I'm gonna be doing here is working on a piece of customer artwork. I already have everything sized up. Uh, it's gonna be a two color print, uh, easy enough to separate. The reason I decided to make this video is because there's gonna be different ways to color separate, even if it's just two colors. Sometimes it's gonna be separate uh, as far as preference. Sometimes it's gonna be separate as far as quality. Sometimes it's gonna be separate uh, depending on your run. It can save you uh, half an hour, an hour of print time, depending on how you separate. Now here, there's gonna be two different ways to color separate. Now we have the white and we have the yellow here. So one way is to easily go ahead and get this yellow and cut it. So we're gonna have that cut, okay? So now you're gonna have one layer. See if I can bring that back a little bit. See, you have this color separated and then you have the yellow separated, all right? So when you print your white, that's what you're gonna get. When you print your yellow, that's what you're gonna get there. Now, there's a few different ways to look at this. All right, this is gonna be easy enough. You gotta remember, when you go to print, how do you wanna print? Um, are you gonna do wet on wet? Are you gonna do uh, one pass? Are you gonna do two passes? Now, when I say pass, I mean flood and stroke, hit it through the flash dryer, that's one pass. Come back again, flood and stroke, flash dryer, that's another pass. So are you gonna hit it with two passes? Are you gonna go one pass? Are you gonna go wet on wet, like I said? Now wet on wet, I really don't like using too much just because of the fact that when you go wet on wet, the image, the, the lines don't come out as crisp because you're actually going over um, with another color on a layer that's already on there. So you're kind of smashing it down and it spreads out. You can't really tell that much, but I mean, if you're going for quality, you can tell. But what we have here is two separate layers. What I mean by that is you have your, your yellow down here and you have your white up here. So you're not really gonna go over it. Let's say for example, you go one pass of white and then you come back wet on wet and you go down here and you just um, give it that pass right here of yellow. Now you're not going over the white, so you're not gonna really get uh, quality or image distortion because you're not going over the white up top. So that's probably the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go wet on wet, I'm gonna go white, and then I'll hit it with the yellow, flash, come back around, and do the same thing. Okay, now another way to do it is you're gonna get a much more vibrant yellow, but it's gonna take you a little bit longer is to actually give it an overlay. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go, you're gonna grab the yellow, so you have the yellow here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna overlay it. So you're gonna go to, where is it? Modify, you're gonna go to expand. How many pixels do you want expanded? I'll go with three. Okay, you're gonna hit Control Shift, the letter N, enter. You're gonna go to uh, your tools right here, paint bucket, and fill that in. The reason you're gonna wanna extend your pixels is because once you go over it with um, that overlay, if you don't extend your pixels, you're gonna see that white bleeding through. So, okay, so we got the yellow here. Okay, and then the white. Now the yellow here, we're just gonna turn that into white. So all this is gonna be white. And then you got your yellow overlay on top of it, which let's just say that's yellow, okay? So now this is gonna be overlaid. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go give it one pass of white, flash it, come back, give it another pass of white, flash it, come back, and then you're gonna give it an overlay of your yellow and then flash it and come back and throw it to your conveyor and you're ready to go. Now, like I said, this is gonna give it a little bit more brightness as far as the yellow. 
um, because even if you give it two passes of yellow without the white underbase, it's still going to look a little bit dingy depending on the yellow that you do use. Um, I got a very good yellow. I don't really worry too much about giving it an uh, underbase. So what I'm doing here, like I said, I'm not going to go this route, but if you have a really thin yellow or if you have a really thin uh, color, whatever color you're using, you're going to want to hit it with that underbase, especially if it's like a, a hot pink or uh, a royal blue. A royal blue tends to really bleed into the shirt a lot if you don't give it that underbase. So whenever your color separating, you're going to want to think about how it's going to come out in print. How many passes are you going to give it? How many rotations of each shirt are you going to give it? Because the more rotations, uh, what I mean by that is, you know, your passes, flashing, come back around, do it again. How many rotations per shirt are you going to give it? So you want to cut that down as much as you can, but also you don't want to skimp on the quality. You want to have a good quality shirt, but at the same time, you want to save as much time as possible. So right here, like I said, um, what I'm going to do, let me go back to it. I'm not going to give it that overlay. All I'm going to do is I'm cutting it. Got two separate layers. Easy enough. I got my guides here. And Arno's ready to print. And this is another piece of artwork that I'm working on. I'm not done with it yet, but as you can see here, uh, it's not going to have this piece back here, but the the blue, that is going to go, I am going to have to uh, underbase that just because of this blue right here, it does tend to bleed and it doesn't look real good, especially if you're just going on a black shirt without an outline or anything like that. So you want to have uh, something that's going to pop, that's going to be vibrant. So it definitely has to have an underbase to it. And then I'm also going to outline the uh, the wording here in uh, a royal blue. So that's also going to have the underbase to it. Sometimes you got to experiment a little bit, but I really don't like using wet on wet. But again, Arnold's ready to print. We're going to get this guy going and uh, move on to the next one. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out all my other screen print videos and until the next one.